Hello, and welcome. And I seem to be under attack. Oh god. Okay. So I thought I would, you know... That's odd. Hey, wait, where's all my loot? Is there an update to the build and repair system? What? Wait a second here. I oh, know, inventory. I was just breaking some things down. Where is the build and repair system? Huh. Wait a second here. Excuse me? I saw a spider leg sticking through. That slightly worries me. They've, uh, recolored the ship. Maybe put some additional lines and stuff in it later, but, uh... The 300mm autocannon is built up on top. I have not made any ammo for it yet. I did hold remove slightly up and gather some materials, so we got some stuff there. Got a bunch of bunch of magnesium, and I was just breaking things down because I could. And I built a precise automatic rifle. That's why it looks different. So let's see. Is there any sort of option in here? When checked, Grind uses the enabled settings for block classes. Oh. So you can choose to not eat specific kinds of blocks when doing the janitor system. Nifty. So there was an update. And then... I don't see anything... I assume it did something, but uh, yeah, it didn't go very far. I mean, it kind of did. I was driving around a bit, and then I got to what looked like the edge of a cliff, so I stopped. And I just started breaking some things down. I did find uranium, so I have a bunch of that now. I have almost 100 in both reactors. Also, 100 millimeter battle cannon online. Well, 300 millimeter. That that looks mighty perilous. Okay. Never mind. Let's uh, let's not go that way. Ideally, what I think I want to do is I want like a pirate base to spawn. Go take the cannon, which I guess I could probably make ammo for now. Uh, question is, do I want to make HE or AP? Because if I opt for HE, I can literally just explode chunks. But if I go for AP, I can target things behind walls, because as far as I can tell, it ignores at least a layer of armor. I haven't done extensive testing on it, so maybe I should just go with HE until I figure that out. But HE does seem to explode after a certain distance from what I can tell. Oh god. Uh oh. Okay. This is why you don't terminal and drive. The only downside is this does kind of limit our ability to move, but I think I got the settings set pretty good on the wheels, so I can at least drive around a decent bit. 
Yes, 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 performance issues, because... Honestly, I think it's wheels. I think wheels have performance issues. It is tweaking with the strength and the dampening and all that, so hopefully... Everything sort of works a little better. Also, if you can't tell, I got rid of the uh, uh, the six dice mod, the one that I had at the top. I don't remember what it was, and I actually replaced it with this other one. I can't remember what this one, what the one I replaced was called, but the new one's just called Environment Definition. And ignore the weird edges on uh, texture blending. I think that may actually be caused by. I assume the fractured stone mod. It makes asteroids look really good, but if it's messing with the snow, maybe it would be best to get rid of it. Also, I have the ore detector turned off, if you can't tell. And that is a spider flying up into the air and then murdering itself. Oh god. I have no brakes. Come on. Come on. And that is the advantage of good settings. Uh, parking brake? Are you going to stop me, please? Thank you very much. Okay, so I want to... You know what, I'm kidding. You can go in the cryo chamber for all I care. If I pull everything out of the build and repair system... Bugs? Hello? Bugs? Bugs? Hmm. Oh! Speak of the devil. Get in your menu and there they come. Whee! Okay, so are these... Okay, it's not empty yet. I just realized the volume. Okay, so that's... Okay. Now, in theory... If I jump up in here... And look at the... Nice! That is great! I hated having to loot all those corpses. It is not a fun time to have a slowdown, space engineers. Oh god. Oh god. Mistakes were made. Oh, okay, that was... That was only slightly worrying. Oh jeez. Okay. We appear to be okay for the moment. Oh god. Spoke too soon. Erg, erg, arg, arg, arg. Stop, 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 stop. Full reverse. Okay. This is why wheeled vehicles are scary, and why this is considered the hard start. That said, I probably have enough nickel and stuff now, I could actually convert this into, like, a heli carrier if I wanted to. Which ideally would be simpler...
but at the same time, I kind of want to find at least some pirates while still using wheels. Now, the thing is, the crashed ground encounters, not all of them will actually show up on the radar guaranteed. So that's a fun thing. Uh, that said, let's have a look here. And so this costs... Oh. There's no gold involved in that. And all those computers I chewed through is what it needs. Great. Awesome. Of course. This is fine. Everything is fine. So, this is mostly irrelevant in terms of where it goes. Do I just want to put it here? There is a possible connect conveyor connection point there and another light armor block there. I could start trip stripping the parachutes out. I don't know. Pretty sure the bottom is. Oh, I can't even go there because there's a light. I see. Let's put it directly on top of this. What could possibly go wrong? How are we doing on our light collection? We're on three bars. I think daylight's coming up. That one killed itself. These bugs are pretty dumb. That's gonna take forever. Let's just put these in front first. What I do feel like I need is some sort of way onto the roof easier, but the design of this rover doesn't really allow for that, so I will have to completely redo it at some point. Uh, can I edit the custom data? I can. Now... I give up. There's always... I can't remember what the distance one is. I don't feel like looking it up at the moment. But that should do us pretty good there. A minimal distance one is good because it'll actually pick up the tires as separate grids. And causes a little bit of UI spam. Can I get up this I want? I'm on. Hmm. What am I doing? It's not what I wanted to do at all. Let's try. Friction up. How did I just apply it and lose it again? Friction down. I don't know what it is with this game, but it has this obsession with not remembering my friction settings. Okay, get it. It shouldn't go up that. You don't want to go up that. And even attempting it is retarded. This is a very dumb idea. And I'm going to pretend I never tried it.
Why do you keep saying that? I have a feeling it has something to do with the fractured stone mod. What are you gonna do? There's no reason that ground looks almost like gold. I've just realized this. Which means it probably is an issue with fractured stone. I have a feeling fractured stones was not designed for... It's probably older than planets. I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, so we appear to be stuck in a bit of a canyon. So I think... I think it might be time to set up the atmospheric. Which is kind of disappointing, really. Okay, there's a lot of spiders today. I hear you. Are we good? I think we're good. There's a connector down here, so I shouldn't have to go. Give me... That's more than enough. I could put these in, but they're technically not rebalanced for the mod. If I'm gonna do this, I almost feel like it would be more fitting to remove these. So here's where the fun part of This comes in because I should be able to just do this, 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 and have it not mess with things, although it is trying to weld the system up there right now. Oops. Let's try this. I'm gonna do is slap in some of those. And I should be able to just place down two atmospherics. Funnily enough, they have some ground clearance. But without some forward facing ones, I'm actually terrified to try and lift off. Yeah. Assuming, yeah, the wheel well eats that up. metal grids and motors because I broke them all down because I didn't think I'd be going to atmospheric that quickly I kind of wanted to get a good tally on my resources so much for that plan well see doesn't that look the lighting looks just a decent bit better with this the other one was kind of eye bleeding I'm not even going to lie it had way too much, like, weird contrasting going on for my liking. Wasn't there supposed to be light here? Oh, it was attached to that, wasn't it? I broke it. Hmm. Oh, well. Things happen. I'm not sure how useful the solars are. Surprisingly, nothing has spawned yet. This is getting there, albeit slowly. Um, hmm. Do I need the solars? Not really. I have quite a lot of uranium now.
And I do... Oops, I may have just bumped my microphone. I do feel the need to make some slight... Adjustments. Okay, so there's the hole I created. Oh, here's the assembler. Well, if here's the assembler... Wrong color. It needs motors. So I'm gonna put these here and hope that it welds this first. It did! And... That makes a fairly large difference. Do I have... Room for anything else? No, because underneath of it is that. So there's one of our reactors. There's that. I'm gonna have to just melt this whole thing down at the first chance I get. That said, this is finished. Okay, so it should be broadcasting via the antenna. Okay. Well, I have a hole in the ceiling now, so that's a thing. What are we still missing? Tell me, LCD panel. No, no, go faster. Go to the next one. Motors and metal grits. Of course, though, the motors are... Oh, not quite almost done. Do the metal grits first. It'll make me feel better. Not getting a lot done. A lot of being in menus, a lot of building, I'm aware. I apologize in advance for that. The options for LCD mods are a bit limited, I feel. I mean, just in general, this is all I have for LCDs. So, that's the thing. Hmm. Hmm. How are we doing on motor production? So one of these should be done then. It is. Uh oh. Okay. So that answers a question. An objectively important one. And that is one of the big deals about the uh, thruster rebalance mod, is it makes it so thrusters are actually useful. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, turn... I can't actually do that until I have a thruster in each direction. Yes, I'm aware that technically disabling things like that oops, can be potentially dangerous. Uh, where am I going to put the... Sidewars? Sidewars? Oh god! We're fine. Everything's fine. Nothing to see here. Still need to figure out where I'm going to put the sideward facing thrusters. We also have to be a bit careful about my block editing. Uh, you know what? This is on my floor inside, I'm pretty sure. So that's probably. Well. 
probably going to be filled with regret and sadness. Oh. Well then. I was unaware and probably should have looked that that entire thing was its own pile of mess. Alrighty then. Let's let's give this a think then. And this is where this is where the the build and repair system ends up being super useful because you don't have to worry about welding things, you can just think about getting what you need done. Uh, let's go with these, I think. Is that the place the right way around already? No. That's better. And then... That. 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 This is a little bit crude. I can't even lie about that. So I have a forward thruster, a backward thruster. Uh, things are crafting. So let's go on that front. That sound that sounds like a welder attempting to weld, that is the build and repair system, because that's exactly what it's doing, it's attempting to weld. You know, there's only about a hundred things wrong with the current situation. And I can't do anything about any of it. Until... Yeah, that script I set up in the programming block automatically sets the uh, assembler up to start crafting what I need. Okay, do we have a thruster in each direction? One, two, three... Four, five. There's a sixth one in here somewhere because I lost count of where I was at. Anyhow, looks like it. Wait, forward, forward, back, right, left, down. I am slightly paranoid about setting up the second downward or starting this up and attempting to level up level up level out so that is a bit concerning uh, batteries oops batteries oh god wrong button wrong button Better. Hey. My welder's kind of bugged. I fix the floor here. By fix, I mean just give me something solid to walk on. Yeah, that'll have to do. So I can get far enough back to do this. How much hydrogen have I burnt? That's down to 
hole in the ceiling. Uh. Come get some bugs. No? No bugs? I, should... I need to rebuild this entire thing at some point, I think. Just literally build a whole new ship. Okay, so if I turn on dampeners... Level things out. Should be able to now. It's floating. It's floating on batteries. It's just slightly concerning. Whoa! Why you do this? Why? Why did this? Why is this a thing? Did the spider damage the atmospheric thrusters? I could have sworn it was the impact. Was it upset at the tire removal? One may never know with some of the bugs in this game. I don't know if this is a bug or because of a bug. Eh. Be okay. That said, I don't think the ship can move right now. Let's check out the power usage in the time remaining and probably three hours, but the reactors are currently turned off. So should be okay. Are you functioning now? One of you is still. Oh, come on. I don't need both of these functional just yet. Oh, whatever. Kind of want to get it off the ground and floating. That's, that's my real goal here. I wonder if something strange happened by losing all the wheels. There's no longer a parking brake to engage. And so it kind of went... Stupid? Do you know what I mean? suddenly fly. That's odd, to say the least. fit it in there. This is not ideally how I'd want to position these, but I need to know if suddenly I just don't have enough thrust. Focusing on that one yet is just doing this one first. Oh, I wish I get more speed modules on this. I could cut out one of the yields, drop down a speed. Looks like I could put the yield sideways if I cut both these out. Maybe. 
Like I said, I just need to do a full redesign at some point. Well, now. Take off. What is going on right now? Uh... Okay, atmospheric thrusters are not responding at all. This is weird. reload before we stop to see if it will function because it shouldn't take too long to load in I feel like things may have slightly busted that's the short version I'm getting really good at having longer episodes at this rate but I need to know it needs to become sky worthy See what I mean? It doesn't take that long to load. Okay, well that's... That's an interesting bug. Okay, I think I know why it says we have one hour. That's because I believe... That's with it running off of... There is a slight concern there may not be may need another reactor. Maybe. The important thing here is I believe that timer is just battery power. Battery, battery, battery. And one hour, 58 minutes. One hour remaining. Yeah. There's, I believe... Look at the reactors, wherever they are. Yeah, zero. That's fine. Okay, so we can fly and have enough uranium that we should stay in the air. I should really rethink some of my thruster positions. fly around a bit, see if... I also have the radar on. It, it is on and functioning properly, right? I mean, it probably is. But... Oh, come on. If I cut that out, boulders... Yeah. Radar is working. The important part of this entire situation is that it's 
I know it's working. It's actually not using that much power either, surprisingly. But what this will do is if there's any like crashed grids floating around on the planet that don't have a beacon, this will highlight their existence. Flying is a thing now. Okay then. I'm going to get it closer to the surface. Should make some landing gear on it. Technically. be the last thing we'll do. I'm gonna just slap down four pieces of landing gear on it so I can land it. And then that should be good enough. Where do I want these? I kind of wanted them more sideways, but I haven't really afforded myself such a luxury. Did I never play in second or thruster? those build, I should be able to land. Those thrusters are going to be real close to the ground, but that's fine. And, of course, this is hogging up all the processing time. Huh? Promise you, we will stop soon. usage has gone down, indicating that we're no longer flying. So I'm going to call this good. Hopefully next time we can find some sort of an encounter. I don't want to have to edit the configuration because I want it to be stock, but nothing showing up, nothing showing up. But I'm going to call this good, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.